Hi everyone, I'm Danny Walker, you're watching Pageant Access, and today's episode is about how to get started in pageants. Alright, so you're sitting at home and you just watched the Miss Universe pageant and you're like, whoa, I can do that. I can be Miss Universe. And you don't know where to start. You're like, okay, well, how do these girls get to compete for Miss Universe? Well, that's one thing you have to consider when entering pageant. You have to understand how to get to the level that you want to be at. This is very important when you're just jumping into pageants. Now, a lot of girls think that they could just enter Miss Universe, and boy do I wish you could. Wow, I would love to just compete for Miss Universe this year. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way for a lot of large pageants. So in Miss USA, for example, you have to win a state title to compete at your national level to finally make it to that international Miss Universe competition. Miss America is different. You have to win a local competition, so a city title or a regional title. Then you have to enter the state competition, win that, and then compete at Miss America. Then you have pageant systems like DAM, where you can directly enter the state competition to qualify for nationals. And you can even qualify for nationals without even winning the state title. There's a ton of ways to get to nationals. Now, every pageant system is different, and I wish that girls, instead of entering a pageant and trying to be Miss USA and putting everything they have into it, would actually find systems that suit them and the people that they are. For example, if you're a 4'11", the chances of you becoming Miss Universe are very slim. And I'll tell you why. Because that pageant system attracts all of these models and all of these super tall girls. So you would have to be the best contestant in the entire world, basically, to win even a state title in the, in the Miss USA system. So that's probably not the best pageant system for you. Now, Miss America, on the other hand, a lot of their contestants are shorter. So that might be a pageant system for you. Now, if you don't have a performing arts talent, that's a little bit different. That might not be a good pageant to enter because you don't want to get up on stage and sing off pitch and embarrass yourself in front of a group of people. It's okay if you don't have a performing arts talent. It doesn't mean that, you know, being Miss America is going to be in your cards, but it doesn't mean that you can't be successful in other pageant systems like National American Miss where they don't require talent. Uh, or like Miss USA where they don't require talent. So girls, please stop trying to force the square peg into the round hole. You need to find a pageant system that works for you and I tell you, you will be so much happier. When I was a little girl, I thought that I wanted to be Miss America. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world until I entered that pageant and went a local and then I was like, wow, this is not what I thought it was. <laughs> this is not what what suited me as a person. I didn't enjoy that. But then when I won a USA title, I was like, wow, this feels natural to me. This is awesome. I love doing this. I love where I'm at. And that's so, so important when you're looking and especially if you're starting to compete in pageant systems. Now, let's say that you've never done a pageant at all and you don't know what you want, then I say, heck, enter them all. Don't limit yourself just because you think that in your mind you might want to be Miss USA when maybe you're the next Miss America. You never know. Now, another thing I want to talk about, which kind of shocks girls sometimes, is the price. You have to make sure that you can afford to be competitive in the pageant system that you're competing in. And yes, pageants are expensive at a national level because everybody wants to win, but some pageants are very expensive at a state level and some are expensive even at a local level. So it's wise girls to take into consideration what types of gowns are these girls wearing to win their titles and you need to do your homework and your research. Because so many girls send me dresses that are you know, from Macy's and it looks like you could wear it to your great aunt's 90th birthday party and that would be fine, but they are not appropriate to wear for example on the Miss America stage and you will not win your title so really what's happening there you're entering a pageant you're investing into wardrobe that will not win I can guarantee will not win and unless you're just going in for the experience I mean that then that's great but if you're going in to win that's your end goal then you're gonna be real disappointed when you don't walk out with that crown and the answer is pretty simple for that it's because you weren't able to necessarily afford the wardrobe that you needed to capture that title. And that is just the reality of pageants, girls. I am so sorry if I'm the first one to tell you this, but somebody needs to tell girls this. Now, 
let's say that you still want to become Miss America and you know that it's going to take an expensive gown, then maybe you need to take one year off, really get those sponsors, so then you can go in and be prepared to win that pageant. Sometimes that's what it's going to take. I'm not saying don't do something because it's impossible that you can't afford it. I'm just saying be smart about it. Do not waste your time spending five years in an organization with mm, okay wardrobe when you could have maybe saved up for two years, wore the best gown on that stage, and taken home that state title. You really got to think of that in terms of uh, money when you're looking for these pageants and deciding what to enter. It's something to at least consider. I know that this episode might not have been everything that everyone wanted to hear, but I just think it's so important to be honest with girls and really give you an understanding of what you're getting yourself into when you enter pageants. There are so many benefits to pageants and they provide so many wonderful opportunities for girls, but I just wish that more girls understood what it's going to take to win a title so they can be more likely to win that title and better prepared to do so. I hope that this video was able to answer some of your questions about pageants. If not, you guys can always message me or you can comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel as well and give this video a thumbs up if you can. Also, you guys can find me on Instagram at Danny Walker and at Pageant Access. You can like my Facebook pages, Danny Walker and Pageant Access, or you can tweet me at Danny Walker Music.